years later. Welcome back to Nier. Let your guard down. I guess that was a tad obvious. You may now use two handed swords and spears. We immediately control near again off of the tail end of a five year time skip. Two handed swords, so items. Like medicinal herbs that we've been used by hitting up on the D-pad, and one-handed swords have been down, so now we can access two-handed swords by doing left on the D-pad and spears by going to the right. That was the strong attack right there, the spinning. do start out with a spear and that's what I'm going to switch to because the spear moveset is very nice. It's my favorite weapon in the game. Oh, I didn't mean to. Are you truly going to abandon them? I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to show off the weapon. The strong attack is a dash like this which you can also do in the air. Like that which goes down. It's very fun. It's almost like a Final Fantasy Dragoon jump just a little bit. Helped a lot by the fact that you're using a spear. We'll be attacked again unless we move. Look at him. Look what they've done to him. The shades are even attacking the village now. And the armored ones, no less. And this village of yours seems to be changing for the worse. We didn't ask for this. It's all the Shadow Lord's fault. That one day changed everything. Five long years. It's been five years since they took my daughter. I spend every waking moment searching for her. But I've found nothing save heartache and despair. This world is winding down. Between the shades and the black scroll. Now is hunting shades, 
searching for information. Someday I'll find a clue that will lead me to the shuttle. I need to. I have to. Hey. Popola called for you, yes. If Nier hadn't been released on an Xbox 360 or in PlayStation 3 and instead of PS2, this would definitely have been the point where you switch discs. And also, I also, and I also haven't mentioned yet the fact that he's wearing an eye patch and has lost his eye. This is a big, or at least I remember it being a sort of a big point of discussion: is how did Nier lose his eye? But I have always thought it's not really that surprising that something like that happened when. Considering what Nier does in this line of work, it could have happened, it could have just been one slight mistake, it could have been from a poor, it could have been from anything. But it's not surprising that he lost it, but it is sad. Even if the eye patch is cool. I think I'm beginning to understand. Climate change wasn't the cause of our woes, it was only a symptom. The real trouble started when something terrible came down from the sky. It seems that this event turned the world into a metropolis of salt. I guess they're talking about how most of the city sunk into the ocean. So I actually wasn't expecting to have such a great segue into this, but Nier's entire game premise, or the entire premise of his world, is based on one of the endings of the original Dragon Guard game, making this essentially a Dragon Guard spin-off, even if Nier is definitely, uh, in my opinion, at least eclipsed to Dragon Guard in popularity, at least in the West. And there's a that's a whole can of worms to talk about. Unfortunately, I have not played Dragon Guard 1, so I can't really comment on it too much, but it's very interesting if you go up and look information about it. And unfortunately, Kaine is still petrified and we have to see it every time we come back into the library and she has been petrified for a total of five years and we have no new additions to our trophy room is there anyone else in the library we can talk to not looking like it I wonder if the village's population has decreased a lot seems that way from the dialogue, at least so far. Just look at you. You look terrible. I know you're worried about Yona, but you're going to kill yourself. I'm fine. Just tired is all. We can't all stay as young and pretty as you, Popola. Well, aren't we feeling saucy today? No, it's true. You look the same as the day I first met you. Okay, now you're just embarrassing me. Here, this is from a meal. Hi, Nier. Hey, it's me, Emil. Sorry I've been quiet for so long. Are you and Vice getting along all right? Is he still using big words and making everyone feel dumb? I bet he is. Anyway, I recently stumbled upon some records that might help us in curing Kaine's petrification. Would you mind coming here to take a look? Thanks. I'll be waiting. Obtained a letter. That letter specifically, I think. Perhaps the time has come to save Kaine. Does this mean you'll be leaving the village? Sorry, I know things have been rough lately. It's okay. Go. We know you're doing it for Yona. Please take care of yourself. Well, more Emil is always a good thing, so I'm glad that the beginning of part two immediately has us go see him. decided a long time ago that Popolo was too important and beautiful to worry about shades and stuff like that. That's why I dedicated my life to protecting her. She trusts me to keep the library secure, so maybe she'll trust me with 
other things go wrong. False hope is better than no hope at all, I suppose. So the interior of the library changed a lot. I'm not sure how much the other areas of the village have changed either, but I actually want to drop by Nier's house just to take a look. And I actually think we've been given a few levels during the time skip for us. It's, we're at 17 now. I don't remember exactly what level we were before. I think we were 14 or so. So we got a health salve here. But because of that level increase, it might be possible to do the DLC now, finally. Especially having a, the spear weapons. Are gonna, the spear weapon is going to help a lot. Gold Moonflower Seed and... 900 gold. Well, that's just a drop in the bucket, but anything is helpful. Feel confident that the child still lives. I know she will. Just the man I wanted to see. Do you have a moment? Maybe. Our water wheel is on its last legs. I'd like to shore it up, but the insides are so complicated. This is a wise thought on your part. That wheel is a machine of not insignificant age. Better to repair it now than wait until it fails completely. You got any ideas? I'm not much for this mechanical stuff. Replacing the axle and the paddleboard should suffice it for now. I believe the strange thing stored facade should have everything we water wheel. Okay, well, if you can handle the repairs, I can pick up the materials. Oh, thank you. I'm sure I can find someone to take care of the actual repair work. I know it's a hard world, but what better time to make your flowers blossom? So yeah, we can still, still farm, and we still probably won't. My husband keeps nagging me about it. This is, this is no time to grow flowers. We've been dealing with a wave of robberies lately. You better keep a close eye on your purse. He's doing everything he can to keep his inventory up, but it's been tricky. Well, his inventory has not changed since part one. Things sure are rough lately. I hear that it's two thieves working as a team. Things aren't cheap right now, but we don't have a choice. Come back soon. Let's take a look in the tavern. There might be a quest in there, but I'm sure Devil is there as well. After the kids she used to take care of by the fountain died, my grandmother's mind began to slip. I'm worried about you. You've been a different person since Yona was taken away. I'll be fine once I get her back. The men who go hunting keep getting attacked. We're so injured now, there's hardly any left who can lift a, wep a weapon. If only there weren't any shades to deal with, then we wouldn't have this. So here's quite a few quests. Uh, the Masterless Lighthouse is a really neat one. I only I say that not because I remember it, but because it obviously is a 
semi-continuation of the Lighthouse Ladies quest. Got a job from Seafront if you aren't too busy. It's a guy looking for something. Um, yeah, just go ask him, all right. I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. And there it is, right by the lighthouse. So we'll just hang on to that one for now. Just to clarify, I, I will be going immediately to Emile's before doing the side quests. A robbery, come to think of it. I saw the thief, just a glimpse, but it was enough for me to be sure. He looked really young. Judging by what we found, we're dealing with two thieves, probably children. Remember the pair of brothers that loiter near the water wheel? I fear they may be hiding something. They may... I fear they may hiding something from us. Okay, maybe, I think is what that's supposed to be. Yeah, I don't trust them. Let's go have a talk. Let's check out the blacksmith stock. I'm sure that he has some stuff. The axe of beheading and sunrise. A uh, man's dementia drove him to attack his daughter's fiance with this axe. Sadly, he hit his daughter instead. And sunrise, the spear's point is so finely honed that all who are graced by it experience an instant, painless death. And we're going to spend a lot of money and buy both of those. Blacksmiths always do well in times like these. Supply and demand, I suppose. So now we can equip Sunrise, which is a big increase, 221 to 384. Well, since we are in Nears Village, let's go ahead and go to the Water Wheel. Let's see if we can't finish that Thief quest before we even leave the village. steal by an abusive father. Well, I certainly didn't expect this. 
I don't think the kids are entirely without blame, but they certainly never had much of a chance. Maybe we can go easy on them this time. Agreed. I'll talk to the other shopkeepers and make sure they understand. You know anyone who might be able to take them in? There's no way I'm sending them back to their father. People are barely getting by as it is. Oh, all right. I'll spread the word and see what I can find out. Ah, yes, your fee. Well, the shop owners passed the hat and came up with this. Hope it's enough. Especially now. And thankfully, oh, that's, oh, that's not very good. That's a lot of number. Oh, nice. So yeah, the spears are pretty good. This attack specifically is quite the thing. Seem like a good word, we just got attack plus 10%. It's especially good for AoE because it gets it very easily grabs a lot of enemies. I miss that one though. Alright, let's go pay a meal visit. So we're not getting very much experience from killing those. Welcome, sir. Master Emil is waiting in his chambers. Oh, hey there, guys. Hey there, Emil. How goes the search for a cure? Nothing yet, but I did find this. Play in Snow White. Notice archival storage 8 to 2026. Following the recent incident with number 6, we have decided to establish an archival room. This room will hold records on the methods used to control and or cancel all forms of magic, including petrification and bestial transformation, as well as allow other projects to move forward. Specifically, this should make it easier to complete a long-term storage solution for number six, as well as proceed with our work on number seven. All employees are required to keep the courtyard entrance, entrance to this new room secure. Failure to do so is considered grounds for immediate determination. There's a section of this manor called the planning room, and I think... Do you think this room will let you harness the ability to control all forms of magic, correct? Actually, yeah. Or even if it doesn't, something there might point us in the right direction. Sounds like a plan. There's an entrance in the courtyard. It's not far. All right, let's go find it. We got our old man jog back. This room truly contains the power to control all magic. I can use it to cure my eye. It would also allow us to free Kaime from her petrified condition. Wow, Vi. I didn't think you'd care. 
Ah, perhaps this tome is getting a bit sappy in his old age. I mean, Emil, you were there. It shouldn't be that surprising that he cares. Is this even the right way to the courtyard? I want to say that it is. This is the room with the shades. Which means right here should be the way. Oh, darn it. Oh, that led to the library. That's right, because that is the safe point for the boss. Oh, that's right. We hit, we hit the courtyard where we were just exploring around. That's my bad. It should be right around here somewhere. Is this it? Warning, this facility can't read the rest. Something about a seal. If someone bothered to attach a warning to this room, I doubt they will appreciate us forcing our way inside. Ah. Emil, what is it? Nothing. Nothing. I'm fine.
probably another key card here. No, it's a two-handed sword, Fang of the Twins. That's pretty cool looking, like a like a double axe. But unfortunately it's a two-handed sword, so I don't care about it. Wait, I equipped transients with the words I'm a fool. There's a slot marked next to it marked SA, so we missed the SA key card. And once we grab that and go into the next area is when I'll end it. There it is. I even broke the boxes there before, I just didn't think to go down there and grab it. I'm glad you, they still give you the ability to jump, even though they were in this isometric viewpoint with a presumably very low ceiling that isn't represented if isn't it represented so we can actually see what our characters are doing. Just going to go ahead and call the video here we will continue through this top-down adventure in the next one thank you so much for watching <laughs>